We live in a designer world. From the clothes that we wear, to the cars that we drive. It's all been drawn, drafted, modeled and marketed. And it was designers and artists at every step in that process that could envision it. That could show us something that wasn't yet there. And it's been the work of those with vision. Those that have learned to envision. That have taken us from the dark ages to the moon. We are the makers, the bridge builders, the dividers and multipliers. From the wheel onward, it's been human creativity that has moved us forward. It's a language, a visual language, our first language, a language that's taken us from cave paintings to trigonometry. And the children of the 21st century, the children of our global community, they will take us to the stars if we give them the tools to envision, to create, to empower. So our band program starts in sixth grade at West Middle School, and um, in sixth grade they're beginners. We start in like instrument classes, so for instance if you take flute, you're in a class with just flute players. If you take trumpet, just trumpet players and so on. Students get a lot more individualized attention as a beginner, and that's really a skill building year. We start from the basics, they don't have to know anything to join band. We teach them everything they need to know. Seventh grade, we take that to the next level. They get to participate in a lot more trips and MSBOA festivals. Eighth grade is basically just a continuation of that. More skill building, more trips, more uh, festivals and concerts. We're definitely a sixth through 12th grade community family program. We've been able to, to build and, and nurture a real strong culture of strong bands. And you know, we're, we're considered one of the top band programs in the state of Michigan. It's, it's a good thing to belong to real good thing and it's a lot of fun. In music we use a lot of cross-curricular uh, concepts. Learning to play music you have to learn about rhythm which is so math based and also language arts. We talk about phrasing, we talk about inflection, we talk about how to you know make the music come alive with expression 
They can, um, you know, just extend that beyond middle school and high school. They can also play in college. You can help pay for their college education. We don't expect everyone to become a band director or a professional musician, but it is a skill that they can take with them and enjoy it the rest of their lives. City West Middle School choirs are a family of people who care deeply about each other, and we are a team that is passionate about singing. The singing is great, but we all form such close bonds and we're great friends, which is definitely the best part. We believe that our success is defined by the self-satisfaction in knowing that we've done the best of which we're capable. With our choir coach, sing that you can sing not only with your voice and with your actions and the way that you treat other people and other people treat you. Our choirs work hard and play hard. We believe that hard work is fun and that a difficult challenge is worth all the effort we can put forth. We celebrate our success throughout the year in the classroom and specifically at our choir coach celebration each fall. An all-day event involving special guests and tons of food fun and fellowship with family and friends. We become well-rounded musicians by learning how to read music through engaging games and activities. We enjoy singing a variety of styles and genres in multiple languages, focusing on superior tone quality, intonation, rhythmic precision, diction, dynamics, and overall presentation. We are highly respected in our school and in our community throughout the state and beyond as a premier choral program. We are the Traverse City West Middle School Choirs, and we love to sing. middle school in theater students will really develop their speaking skills they're going to develop skills in terms of technical theater with costumes props um, working with lights and sound and scenery and they're really going to build their self-confidence by being on stage and being in front of an audience you get to meet lots of really great people we get to do fun projects where we are doing skits, we learn how to pantomime, they do monologues. This is not a sit and get class, this is a do class. So we're hands on, they're writing their own scripts, they're presenting those scripts, they present for their peers, they also present for their parents, and we just have lots of fun exploring, learning how to be more expressive, be more dramatic. I think that I chose it because it's something I wouldn't normally do, but now that I'm in it, I really am happy I did because before this, I wouldn't be on stage, I wouldn't be acting, I wouldn't be doing any of that. Now it's one of my all-time favorite things to do. If you would like to build your self-confidence and just be yourself, join theater and have fun. It makes you so proud to see what you can do with it. We start here, we have a little bit smaller stage, and then we go to the high school and we see what a big production looks like, and it's a great goal for the kids to have. I think I want to continue acting throughout my high school and maybe even college and more. Living is a class for sixth graders. We study four large units. Uh, the first unit is foods and nutrition. We'll make probably four to five dishes. We'll talk about safety, sanitation, nutrition, food preparation. The second large unit is sewing and we pair that with a service learning project. The third large unit is careers, so we'll talk a little bit about exploring careers and ideas. And the last big unit is budgeting, so we'll talk about money. American Foods is a class where we study the geographical regions of the United States, what people eat there and why. How close are they to water? What are they able to grow? We make two dishes approximately from each region. We do everything from scratch. Global Foods is a class in which we explore different countries, what people eat there and why. Is the country landlocked? Are they a sea-bearing country? Do they fish? Okay, what kind of agriculture do they have? We'll study the culture of the, of the country and the cuisine. We'll make two dishes approximately from each country. I think that you should take my class because not only is it fun, 
hands-on, you're mobile, you're engaged, but we're learning real life skills. You're learning life skills, you're learning nutrition skills. So we're constantly using real life application of mathematics. So there's a huge tie into your Eastern Hemisphere courses, your Western Hemisphere courses. This is a class that really shows you you are what you eat. is providing you an area to practice skills, develop skills that you're going to use in the workforce no matter what career choice you take. We don't know what jobs we're preparing kids for these days because things change so rapidly, but there are skills that transcend all of those and that's what we develop in here. Again, teamwork, collaboration, problem solving, using your imagination. They'll learn robotics. We use the Lego Mindstorm robots. We use the Vex robots. We give them skills and hand tools from X-Acto knives up to hand saws up to bench-mounted power tools. So we use those tools then to move on to building airplanes. We learn about aviation, aerodynamics, structural design, we work with coding, um, with our Arduino kits, and wiring and circuits and electricity. It's a nice change of pace. They come in, it's, it's hands-on, project-based. We take what they're learning in other disciplines, science, math, and we add in technology and engineering. And so they're able to take what they've learned in other classes and apply it here in a hands-on way through the lens of the engineering process. Let go of the idea of right answers, wrong answers, fill in the blanks, worksheets, and come in here, be ready to use your imagination. You get to show your creative self. Use your mind and go wild with your creations. Be ready to be flexible and compromise with, with other teammates and members and give up the, the solutions to the problems that they're given. You fail, you fail, and you use that to uh, succeed. You can come in and help explore your, your horizons. This class really interests me and I want to keep doing things like this. Yearbook not only provides a unique opportunity to be creative in a whole different way. They get to write stories, they get to interview students and teachers, they get to plan, they get to design, they do layouts, they sell advertisements to local businesses. We discuss how to speak to the owner of a business, how to write a thank you note. Um, they do a lot of budgeting, so they look at sales for the yearbook. So there's a lot of math involved and a lot of, kind of real world applications. Um, they ask the questions, they create the questions, they create the stories, um, they develop the stories. All the photographs are taken by the students. All editing is done by the students. So it's a unique perspective from, from their viewpoint about their, their daily lives in school, out of school, um, through their academics. Um, it's really interesting to see the kids just build that, um, that team camaraderie and that spirit to create this, um, this project. In my experience, this tends to be, I, I would think, one of the most enjoyable classes a student's gonna have when they're here. I want to work on my cardio. I want to get stronger. The point is to stay in shape. It's, it's like a stress reliever. So I just like to have a place where I can get active and just be athletic. It's a chance to be social with friends and peers, a chance to try some new activities. We break it down into two-week units. We do a wide, wide range of activities, anything from flag football, basketball, floor hockey, soccer, badminton. We'll spend a, a few days working on skills and drills. And then most of the time, we're actually putting students in game situations, using their skills um, in game settings. I think a big thing that people don't realize is the social skills, how to work with other people. It's good, it helps you interact with friends. Uh, you work with groups, so you're always communicating. Teamwork is a big thing. Physical activity increases test scores, whether it's um, individual sports, team sports, working out on your own, gets blood flowing. It lets you get out and run around. During the day, you don't really move that much because you're in a lot of classes. Having a chance to burn off some steam, get some exercise, and run around a little bit is just a healthy thing for everybody. It's active, it's moving, it's having fun, come with an open mind. I like the sports part the best. 
I really like when we uh, lift weights because you're a girl, like people don't expect you to be like this big, strong person, but you actually surprise a lot of people. And this class is gonna push you a lot, so be ready for it. Be prepared to work hard. I'm be blunt, don't be lazy. Even if you're a girl or anyone, then it's a really fun class to take because you can prove to yourself how strong you really are. You know, just try your best, honestly. And have lots of fun. Orchestra is all about detail. Orchestra is all about precision. The students learn how to work hard and how to really put persistent practice towards their instrument, which can apply to everything in life eventually. But more importantly, orchestra is about music. In middle school, you learn more about technique. We work on your fingerings and your posture right and your bowing correctly, being able to stay in tune, and it's just good to be able to know how to play these really super cool instruments. Our class is about the string instruments, violin, viola, cello, and bass. We learn how to play as an ensemble together. We learn a lot about how to be a group, how to communicate together non-verbally, how to help each other with our instruments. We play music from all different time periods. A lot of stuff that's been around for hundreds of years and is very famous for good reason. But also new stuff. We do fiddle stuff. We do some pop and rock eventually. Just learning how to be a musician in orchestra through the string instruments because it's so important that every kid gets that chance to be musical and express themselves. It's just definitely a highlight of our day, I think. <laughs> it's really cool, yes. language class it is fabulous. It helps them experience other cultures. It helps students with their primary language because you're examining language and grammar in general, so it reinforces the language arts skills. It increases opportunities for travel and it creates an understanding that we're all a little bit different in our own way and that's a good thing. Using a language to communicate with another person, uh, it's empowering as well. Foundational switches at introductory level is we do very little reading or writing. The class is mostly just speaking and listening. So we do lots of communicative activities where they ask questions back and forth. We do lots of fun things with the computers where they record themselves on video, describing pictures or expressing time. We work specifically with some of the difficult letters and words that are hard to pronounce. We tend to be able to understand the language first. The next skill is they learn to speak as well. So you can communicate back and forth. The final skill is usually your reading and writing. And so it's a fun way to scaffold up into the language. If you have levels one, two, or three, at the end of each semester you take a district assessment. Then you can earn high school credit for that class. Getting those credits down here opens up more opportunities for you at the high school. Be ready to participate. The only way to truly become fluent is to immerse yourself in that language. If you haven't had that opportunity to communicate with somebody in their native tongue, it's something special. It's kind of fun. Being a good digital citizen is more than just knowing your way around the web. It's connecting and collaborating and using these devices as tools. This class is going to help them connect and collaborate in ways they didn't even know existed. One of the key elements to the class is empowering our kids to harness all of the information that's out there and the tools that are out there to communicate and get their message out and do that in an ethical, safe Kind way. This is a pretty robust course that covers the eight essential areas that kids need to know to fully utilize technology in smart ways. So it covers internet safety, privacy and security, relationships and communications, cyberbullying and digital drama, digital footprint and reputation, self-image and identity, information literacy, and creative credit and copyright. And they approach this through collaborative projects. So there's innovation and interpretation and activism. And it's just a really cool way to kind of bring together all the things that they need to know, plus all the fun ways that you can use technology to share that information. This is not a course where you have to come in with any tech skills. They've got the skills. It's the using of the technology in a way that's empowering and positive. I think the Digital Bytes is the coolest part for kids that they get to work together and create those projects based on activism or entrepreneurship or innovation and they're talking about like online data tracking and news literacy and online marketing looking at some case studies and actual 
YouTubers, they can share their learning in a video and sometimes they're using vocabulary to do a rap and sometimes they're uh, you know, doing commercials, they get to create their own digital projects. It can open some doors for you, maximize all you can do with it and really harness that, harness the power of what's out there.